Hey, what's up, baby girls? How's everyone doing? Happy Friday. Happy Viernes. Thank you so much for being here today. So, yes, as you guys saw by the title and my thumbnail, I will be doing a little bit of freehand today. So, me aventé, chicas. Like, I decided, I was like, you know what? Today is the day I will sit down and do a little bit of freehand. I don't ever do that. When have you guys ever saw that? It's, like, rare. I mean, I do have maybe a couple of videos. Maybe, like, very simple freehand, hand-drawn designs and stuff. Maybe, like, for Halloween. You know, very, very simple, you guys. But today's design was a little bit hard. I can admit that. It took me literally like three hours to do this design. Uh, you know, the acrylic process was super easy to do. The acrylic process was boom, there it is. Um, it was pretty much the freehand part that took me so long. But anyway, you guys, let me start off here by kind of explaining to you what I'm going to be doing. So as you guys can see here, I am using my extra long no secret tips. And I do cut them at the tip with some straight scissors just so that I can get a flatter uh, edge or a flatter tip, if that makes sense. Um, because they do have a very, 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 very slight C curve. They're not like the last year's C curve, you guys, at all. Not even. Um, but that's what I do so that I could get a flatter tip. Okay. And so what I did is I went ahead and applied my glitter here because this is going to be the base that I want to work with. I wanted a glittery base. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Or I think that's what I'm trying to do. A glitter background. Okay. <laughs> and I'm using one glitter from Sugar and Cream. It's I've had it for so long, you guys. And uh, I really want to use my glitters and stuff. So I brought this one out. And um, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. I don't remember the the name to it. But if I do remember, I'll have it here. Or let me go check. And then I'll come and put it here or in the description box below. And, um, and next, I'm going to go ahead and cap everything. Because, of course, you do not want to mess up anything. And since we are going to be working with gels and freehand and all that shebang... Um, it is going to be very hard to try and do on top of glitter. So please go ahead and cap all of your nails. This is very important. Okay. It also saves your product. Um, you don't have to build up your, your nail just using colored acrylics or glitter acrylics. You know, um, especially if they're glitter, you have to cap because then you're going to mess up the, the glitter part of it. So either, either way, I like to be on the on the safe zone and just cap everything. That way I won't have to worry about anything. I always cap, even if they're nudes. It's rare when I don't cap a nude, but usually I do go ahead and give it a small little layer of clear. And for this, I'm using my Not Polish Monomer. And yes, I'm using the Glam & Glitz acrylic, the clear acrylic. Because I can't find my clear from Not Polish. I had put some inside a little pot just so that I can use here with the monomer. And I can't find it. I don't know where I left it. Um, I, I Since it's so small, I must have put it somewhere and I, I don't remember where I left it. So since I was here, um, you know, already recording and stuff, I didn't have time to go and try and find it. So I just went ahead and um, just used this one from... from glam and glitz since it was right there you know what i mean so yeah you guys i'm gonna be doing that i also added four little drops of the neutralizer from not polish onto my monomer so that the, the smell's not that strong and let me tell you guys yes it does reduce the smell it will not i didn't notice a like a dramatic change on the smell you know what i mean but the smell does reduce i would say about 30 percent okay it's less so I do like it. I do like to use it. And I, I think I am going to keep on buying it. Because I do like it so much. 
And if you guys didn't know, we do have a discount code with Not Polish. It's just G A B B Y, Gabby. But either way, uh, I will have it linked in the description box below as well as my coupon code. And yes, I do get a small commission out of that, you guys. I understand that if you don't want to use it because I'm getting commission out of it. But, you know, it is a big help for me. So, yes, I do get a small commission from that. Um, but. I would never lie to you guys about a product just because I'm I'm getting commission out of it. Um, I I can truly, truly, truly stand by not polish. Their products are just very, very high quality. I love them. They work super well. Um, I recommend them to you. Not even a hundred percent, you guys. I I mean a thousand percent. I I really, really, really do like the products. So anyway, you guys, after this, I'm going to go ahead and shape and everything. I think I did. Yeah, I did leave the filing portion here because a lot of you guys like to watch everything. So I did leave it for you guys. And yeah, I'll, I'm going to step out for, for a couple of minutes, you guys, so you guys can finish watching everything since some, somebody commented on my last Spanish video. They were like, hablas mucho. Like, you talk too much, girl. Your your design is pretty, but you talk too much. And I was like, no me pare los I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, my mouth won't stay shut. I, I gotta be talking here. I don't know why, you guys. I really don't know why. I like to talk throughout my videos. I like to, like, platicar with you guys. I like to talk to you guys and she's mad and stuff. And, you know, but you know what? That's just me. If I'm boring, you guys, you could just mute me. <laughs> but you know i'm gonna let you guys watch the filing process since there's nothing really um nothing really that i've changed you're gonna see how i buffed at the end because there's a new trend going on on tiktok and i really wanted to try that and um yeah
Okay, baby girls. So this is what I was telling you guys about the cuticle thing, the cuticle um, oil around the nails to buff. I went ahead and added just a little tiny drop all over the nails. And then I went ahead and buffed them. Supposedly, this is going to leave your nails just very, very clean. There's not going to be any harsh lines. But your nails will be super, super, super smooth. So I really wanted to test it out and see for myself if this was true. And honestly, yeah, I could see a difference, you guys. I can really see a difference on that. So maybe I'm going to keep on doing this to my nails. Um, because, yeah, I did see a difference. But, you know, I went ahead and cleaned them afterwards with a little bit of alcohol. And a little piece of napkin here. <laughs> I was just too lazy to get up and get a lint free wipe, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so next for my freehand nail art, I'm going to be using in these Nail Addict Gel Polish. And this one is Lilac Madness. And this one is Bronze Me Baby. The first one is like a, obviously, a lilac. And then a yellow. And then this one is a teal. And it's called Happy Birthday. Which I didn't end up using it. So I'm going to be placing a picture here of my inspo. Because once I saw this, I was like, it looks easy and it looks so pretty and I really want to try something new. And yeah, so these are the gel liners that I use on my videos. And you guys don't know, I did go and purchase them on Amazon and I love them. I really do love them. So I'm going to start off here by doing the little Care Bear um, with the pink. Um, and let me just tell you guys, this... This design here was a challenge. I'm not used to drawing. I, I don't even in art class when I was in school, you guys. I I was not a good artist, let's say. <laughs> and I don't know. This was very hard for me. But honestly, I, I was like, you know what? I could do this. You gotta believe in yourself, you guys. You can't be so hard on yourself. I'ma be honest, this didn't turn out how I wanted it to turn out. Because I know that I could do better. But for it to be my first time, honestly, I really liked how it looked. I really liked how it turned out. Just everything about them, I really did like them. And I'm going to keep on trying more easier <laughs> hand-drawn uh, designs for you guys. And But I really want to keep on doing this. I really want to step out of my comfort zone like I've told you before. I really, I really want to do different things for you guys here on the channel um, because everything just became so repetitive, so, so, so repetitive and um, I just want to step out there more, you know, and like I said, stop being so harsh on myself and just believing more in me, which I know that I could do better and yeah you guys <laughs> so um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna be doing this i'm gonna step out for a while so you guys can see this and yeah i'll be right back
So next, as you guys saw, I went ahead and did the little cloud on top of the Care Bear on my middle nail. And then coming back to my index finger, I'm going to be drawing a little um, rainbow, which this one, it was super, super, super easy to do, you guys, honestly. I think the hardest thing was the Care Bear for me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be drawing. I, I already had done it on my pinky just because I didn't want to make the, the, the video way, way too long. So I went ahead and skipped that part and then I'm showing you guys here on my index finger what I did. And then I'm, I'm also going to be drawing a little cloud at the bottom of the little rainbow. So on each of the little colors that I made for the rainbow, I went ahead and flash cured for about 10 seconds. Just so that the colors don't mix with each other, you know. So I went ahead and flash cured and then after I'm done with all the, you know, with the whole rainbow i went ahead and did a full cure for about 60 seconds So as you guys saw, I went ahead and finished the little cloud at the bottom. Now I'm going to be using my 4-in-1 base coat. I think that's what it's called. And it's from Bella Vina. And I'm going to be doing or adhering some of these little four-point stars. I'm not sure what they are called, but that's how I see them. And I'm going to be doing them or gluing them on with the base coat. And then I'm also going to be using my little lamp here just to adhere them. And they stay in place, you guys. They don't move. So I'm going to be doing the exact same thing over on my pinky. So for top coat, I'm going to be using my matte top coat, which you can find on my online store, you guys. I do have several things still available. The link is going to be in the description box below, just in case you guys are wondering. So I will be making them matte. Uh, honestly, I think they would have looked better shiny, but it's all up to you. Honestly, I made them matte just because I thought it was going to bring out all that freehand we just did. So it's really up to you what you want to do. I did a mad because that's my personal preference, but you know, it's all up to you. Like I said, these are just ideas make the designs yours, you guys. So I'm going to be making them matte. And then after that, I'm going to be adding some rhinestones onto my, what's it called? <laughs> onto my ring finger. So as you guys saw in the picture that I, that I showed you before, you guys, uh, she did do a teal like a minty, one of the minty Care Bears, and um, honestly, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I was like, you know what, I'm going to practice with just this, and you know, I think I could do the rest later, or practice later on. So I just went ahead and did the pink one, but the original picture did have the teal, the teal Care Bear on the ring finger, and I was like, you know what, no, not today. Um, so I just went ahead and added some crystals here. Um, but you guys, like I said, you guys can do whatever you guys want. These are just ideas. And uh, yeah.
so this is the final results baby girls i hope you guys enjoyed it honestly this was a challenge but it's not it's not perfect like hers like the original uh picture but honestly i did like how it turned out to to be my first time i, I think it went pretty well but i don't know you guys you guys tell me what you guys think and yeah I, I, i'll be reading you guys down on the comment section and again thank you so much for being here today um behave stay safe and i will see you on next week's videos so yeah chicas bye bye